Okay, so sorry for the interruption. Let's get back to uh, our filters. So I think what I was doing is adding them to the room search component. So um, let's add a div here. Let's add some brackets or are these parentheses? Yeah. And rooms uh, search filters. Okay, now let's create this new component. Um, yeah, we will want to use a, a class component. Now, export default room search filter we can get rid of this keep the constructor uh, do we need with router I guess we do because we'll want to call a router dot replace So we want to replace the URL, but we want to keep the existing query string. So we'll have to make sure we don't um, we don't mess this up. So we'll probably have a add filter or toggle filter. Well. So, yeah, forms in React are always a bit tricky, even though this isn't really a form. We do want to toggle the filter on and off. Um, we might use a, a checkbox component from uh, Form C. Do we need to? So what I'm wondering about right now is do we need this or can we just use a plain checkbox? Probably we can use a plain checkbox. So um, on what would be it be on change, on click. Huh. Um, but now the thing is value value will be okay first before we do that we probably need to get all our f different filter values so um right now they're defined in the rooms schema right here so let's take this out and this way we can import it in the component as well um Let's create a new data directory and we'll call this uh, amenities.js. So this will be an array. Yeah, let's put everything in one file actually. It will be easier. So, okay, and then the other one we had was uh, spaces or uh, um, let, let me check the the mockup facilities. Yeah, that's. 
Well, I guess I already called it spaces here, so spaces it is. Okay, now I'm gonna import this. Don't, don't need the JS actually. Uh, what? No. Spaces and. Okay. So that's cool. Now we can do the same thing here import amenities, spaces um, from. What's it gonna be? So we're in the. Uh, rooms components we want to go up to levels and then go to modules and data and then we're gonna loop over this uh we're gonna want to have an index so we can have a key here because you always need a key when you're looping over something in react the value is gonna be um this and then uh, the label yeah we're gonna add a label okay and let's not forget to import room search filters now I'm importing rather than using the the uh, components dot foo syntax because for now I'm just you know building things as a regular react app uh, if in the future I might end up open sourcing this well I will open source it and I will um, probably make it into a, a, a theme or an example uh, that can serve as a base for a theme so I'll probably change that into using a register component and component dot room search filters but for now let's leave it like this okay let's go back to our um, search results cannot read property bind yes that's because I forgot to change just comment out this. Um, so I'll bind the um, yeah this toggle filter. Cool. So we have our filters. Oh uh, yeah, I put the key on the wrong one. Sorry. Actually, I'm going to put them on separate lines. So again, right now we're not wor worrying about the design at all. We have a server side rendering error. Probably due to the map, because I don't know what anything else that would have these uh, these values. So let's forget about it for now. Okay. Now the problem with using a uh, A plain, uh, uh, what you call it, input like this is that when you click it, when you trigger the toggle filter function, it will um, pass the event. And if you want to get the actual uh, value handler, I don't even know where you get the value of. Uh, uh, yeah the value of the uh, actual checkbox so 
that might be a good reason to actually use form C React components such as uh, let's let's check out the form component thing okay checkbox and I think if we use this we'll uh, we'll get the actual value of the input so um like whether it's checked or not and uh, and the other information passed instead of just the the um, event because the event isn't that interesting so uh, l let's see what happens with this so we'll we do need to import checkbox okay Oh, we need a name property, okay. And I actually, uh, the value would be true or false, I think, so. Uh, okay, so it seems that it does need a, a form. I mean, we'll never uh, submit that form, but if it needs one, so we're still getting the um, hmm. still getting the event. So maybe that's not a good idea, actually. I guess, yeah, I guess we don't need to do that. Okay. Forget about this thing. Let's instead check how to get the value. Of a component. So. Should be event target value. Let's see if this works. Maybe it, it is that simple. Um, I'm not. Usually I use. Um, yeah, so it's not that simple. Although they're using on change and not on click. Maybe that makes a difference. Again, this is something where I try to use Form C or or Vulkan forms directly, so I, I rarely write code uh, form code from scratch. Uh, uh, okay, so use checked instead of value. I also feel like this is something that changed recently in React. I wonder if maybe like this documentation is not out of date. Um, okay, let's see.
I mean, you know, we could also just, um, instead of calling this toggle filter, call um, this toggle filter. Uh, so, uh, wait, we want the. So I read a post saying that this is not a great practice because you're instantiating a ton of new functions. But let's see if it works. Yeah. Although we do want to know if it's uh, on or, or off. Uh, we could keep track of that in the state probably the best idea yeah I don't know why f uh, form fields and form elements are so complicated in react like is the one thing where I feel like uh, you're kind of fighting against react it's not really helping you much so we would initialize everything to false Um, so initialize everything to false for now and then uh, on toggle we would do um, this dot set state and then um, so this will be the filter name let's say yeah and set it to the opposite of whatever it is and then this would be Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, because this is an array. Um, we don't want. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, okay, so the problem here is amenities is an array and the state needs to be um, an object. So um, mm -mm. we don't really want to do this like that. What we want to do instead is to do a for. Okay, so. for each this something like this okay so let's uh, use our react dev tools to check out the state of the react uh, room search filters component so they're all set to false and shampoo true essentials true breakfast true breakfast false shampoo false okay cool so it's working i'm not saying this is the the cleanest nicest way to do this but at least it works now if if i could improve this i would just um instead of instantiating a new anonymous function every time just to so i could pass the value i would only have like this toggle filter filter here and then figure out how to get the filter name f 
from the uh, event that's passed here, but I couldn't figure it out. So, you know, let's do it like this. Um, okay, so now we want the filter to actually do something in addition to toggling the state. Um, now I'm wondering if we even need the state because it's already going to be stored in the URL, but you know what? Um, let's keep it like this for now. This is not an exact science, I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. Like, it, it might seem simple, like we're just building a, a filter UI, but this kind of thing, as soon as you're like managing state and, and uh, the URL state and that impacts the app state, that, that gets complex pretty quickly in terms, not so much in terms of like specific coding patterns or, or coding complexity, but more in terms of overall app architecture and knowing where you manage your state and so on. So um, all that being said, let's go back to our, our uh, router thing. So the router is going to be at this props router and we're going to do replace. And uh, what was the documentation? Yeah, so we want to actually we want to get the route, current route first. So this would be at router dot where would it be actually? Oh, location. Yeah, location, query, and then we have our params. So, or we actually have search. Probably. So what we want to do here is, okay, build a new URL. So we know the first part is going to be search and then uh, and then this question mark and then this stuff um, so basically before we do that we, we want to so, okay If the filter, if the filter is being set to false, we want to remove from the URL. If it's being set to true, we want to add to the URL. So, okay, if so, uh, if this state, so if the filter is currently true, we want to remove it. So we're going to do query params, uh, I mean, sorry, delete, um, okay, now if it's false, on the other hand, we're going to do query params filter name equals, say, one, it's going to be in URL, so it doesn't really matter. You know, if it if we use true, it wouldn't be a boolean. Um, anyway, it would just be a string. So one is good. And then we'll gonna we're gonna build the URL from all our query parameters, uh, which would be. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We can just do. Yeah, no, we do need to do this like this. Um, uh, we want the value and the key. So let me double check. I don't think map gives you the key. 
no value index array so we need to use underscores map who does give you the key and we're gonna return okay so key um, equals Yeah, that should work. And then there will be a ampersand. And that should give us our new URL. And before we do replace anything, so I'm uh, gonna log out to this new URL oh and also we want to do the set state at the end Okay, cannot read property query of undefined. Um, yes, this props location dot query. I'm not sure it's a good idea to do a delete here because it uh, might. Yeah, I don't know. It might mutate the router itself. Okay, so what do we have? Um, yeah, so we, we actually want this at the end, I guess. So from, okay, oh, there's a comma because we are um, implicitly joining the array together. And by default, when you join, it uses a comma unless you actually, yeah, specify that you don't you want to join with nothing. So here we were, uh, when you're uh, echoing or, or you know, uh, inputting, what's the word? Um, concatenating an array into a string, it will automatically join it. And that means adding a comma unless you specify you don't want one. So search from lat ng to and shampoo equals one. Yeah, now if we uncheck this, Shampoo isn't there anymore. AC1. Now, what if we check AC and shampoo and TV? Now we remove shampoo. Yeah, seems to work. So now we can do this props router replace new URL. Yep. Oh wait, no, no, not not yet. <laughs> okay, yeah. That that's not what you want. Okay. I'm gonna I'm not sure if that's the problem, but I feel uneasy about that delete query params. Um so I'm gonna clone this to make sure we're not mutating things that might, you know, have an impact somewhere, somewhere else. So what I'm saying is that before we were saying query params equals this props location query, and that points directly to the router's location object. Um, and then we were deleting something on that object, which might have an intended consequences, you know, uh, somewhere else in the router or down the road. So if we clone this, uh, we'll have fewer side effects, I think. N not sure if that was the 
Okay, oh, I guess we need to go back to regular URL. So. Okay, we don't want this. So I'm not saying this was necessarily the, the problem, but... Okay, so it does add shampoo, but it also adds null. So why is that? Um, so we are mapping query params. Should we log this out maybe? See what's inside. Okay, so, well, yeah, I keep forgetting to remove this. Oh, okay, okay, I know what it is. Oh, wow, that's... This little guy is messing er everything up, because now when I uncheck, this little guy gets added in. So what we actually need to do is uh, remove all empty elements so, and I think would this work oh that, that returns an array um, I guess the best way would be not to add the last so what, what if we do it like this actually join it with the, the ampersand yeah because if you have an empty ampersand it's like having an empty parameter. So let's let's remove this. Um, actually that's that's not valid. That's what we want. Okay, let's see now. Yep, the ampersands are only added in between a, each query parameter. And it seems to be working Fine. Awesome. Now, all this again was just to get our uh, query params in the URL. Another thing we need to do is initialize them properly. So I defaulted them to false, but we don't, we want to default to. Um, if we want to def to set the initial state based on the URL, hmm, no. Um, so for each, let's see what we have here. So it's undefined. Um, why is it undefined? Because filter name, okay. Yeah, same problem as earlier. This is not gonna be, wait, no, actually no. No, because this is the amenity, so, um... Okay, so we have the value and the label. Yeah, right, okay, no. Uh, it has to be value. Actually, one thing we can do is this. I think, so, get the value, but as filter name. So, rename it to filter name. That's like a new uh, ES6 trick. We, okay, we... So this, so 
so I don't get it because the the things are selected properly, but it still says undefined. Okay, I, I guess let's let's not try to be too clever because it m makes things hard to reason about. So. But yeah, in ESX you can rename uh, object properties when you destructure the the objects or whatever. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, okay, no, it's undefined because it's... okay. Yes. My bad. Of course, yeah, it should be undefined because uh, the parameters, there's only three parameters that are that are defined, so there's three of them equal to one, and all the other ones are just undefined. Okay, perfect. Um, but anyway, so this works, we are initializing stuff properly. Now, the... The whole point of doing this was to uh, filter out the results that don't have these accommodations, these, uh, I mean, amenities. So let's work on this and uh, let's see how far we can go today. So let's, uh, okay, stunning Kyomachia, it has. Pocket Wi-Fi and Internet, and let's find another one that has these. Okay, this one. So we know at least two of these have a Pocket Wi-Fi, and we know um, this one doesn't. So if I search without anything, well, okay, it will actually show me nothing um, because. Why actually? Let's uh, let's tweak our resolver so that it shows you every room basically when you don't have any parameters. Which I mean it should do. Oh, okay, so it would, but it says invalid latitude lo longitude object, which makes sense because we are not passing anything. So we just need to go back to our uh, results here, and then if wait, no, uh, let me no, this should uh... oh, because it won't know where to center the map, right? Um, but we. Do we want to just hide the map? This is the kind of thing where you're building like an actual product and not just a, a, a demo. There's so many little things like this. Like, for example, if somebody hasn't selected a location, uh, where do you center the map, right? Or do you make locations mandatory? So for now, I think I will pick a location. So I'll pick Paris. And oh yeah, the map is below. So I'm just gonna zoom out to make sure that we have all seven properties and now I can start filtering them down. So I said that uh, only some properties had the pocket Wi-Fi, which by the way, if you're uh, not familiar is like a, a 4G or, or whatever 3G powered Wi-Fi only uh, device you can take with you and you have internet everywhere even without a, a cell phone plan it's pretty convenient especially here in Japan where actual Wi-Fi is pretty rare so a lot of Airbnbs make that available and we want to pass down this pass this down sorry to the um, resolver. Now, currently the resolver uh, doesn't have this, but if we were to pass it, it would be here where we are defining our terms. 
Um, now, okay, so this, I'm probably gonna stop the stream here for today, but let's just think about what we need to do next. Right now, we are passing our resolver terms here, so we need to add the, uh, the filters. Now the problem is each filter has a different um, uh, property name, right? So we're not gonna be like pocket with Wi-Fi true false, internet true false, and so on. That would be pretty long. Um, so instead, I'm probably gonna change this so that it just says filter equals and then list the different filters that are active. So that makes our uh, component logic here a bit more complex to update the route but it will make the rest easier and then once that's done we can just get the um, the initial filter here uh, value here from the location again maybe now maybe we uh, maybe it makes sense to move this logic from here one level up to here because that's the component that manages the state for our whole search form and uh so you know another example where you might want to dissociate the ui from the state and then once we've done that once we've uh, managed to pass on our filters to uh, as terms to the resolver uh, they'll actually show up right here. That's the terms object that I'm logging out. And then it will just be a matter of, um, where is it? Resolver, resolver here. Just like we're checking on the from and to terms and then the southwest, northeast terms. Similarly, we'll add if terms dot filters or something. Um, just remove all the rooms that don't fit these criteria. And then we'll be done. So. Tune in next time where we do all of that.